how do we increase the stability of an object? Uh, how, how do we make sure it's much harder to topple over? There are only two ways. Firstly, to make the center of gravity as low as possible and to make the base area as wide as possible. Over here, we have a picture of a racing car. Ever wondered why the racing car looks flat and also looks a little bit wide? Quite simply, they want to make the center of gravity lower, making it flatter and make the base area wider. A little bit of fun stuff. So, do you think this is stable, unstable or neutral? The answer is that this is obviously quite a stable object because if I tried to tilt this a little bit and I released it, it would fall back to where it was. Next one, this will clearly be an unstable object. If I tilted this a little bit, this elephant would fall and likely to injure himself pretty much. Well, this rock certainly looks to be unstable. It's balancing on its tip, which means if I just pushed it a little bit like this, the center of gravity would move such that it is over here and it is beyond the base and therefore it will provide a moment and cause a rock to fall. And lastly, a wheel. If it was a wheel and I pushed the wheel a little bit over here, it would just remain where it was. It will not continue rolling further, it will not roll back to its original position and therefore this would be a neutral equilibrium. Now, when does the object stay upright and when does it fall? The object will stay upright if the vertical line through the center of gravity still falls within the base. The object will fall if the vertical line through the center of gravity does not fall within the base or if it, if it has exceeded the base. So let's take a look at these three trucks, okay? So trucks are part on the slope and they have been packed with boxes or weights such that um, they have different positions of their center of gravity. So let's take a look and let's ask ourselves which of these trucks will fall. So let's look at A. The center of gravity is over here and if we draw a line downwards from the center of gravity, the center of gravity is clearly beyond the base of the wheels of this truck. Therefore, there will be a moment pulling down. This is the pivot over here at the corner. The moment will be pulling down over here and the truck will fall. Next, over here, if we draw the center of gravity down, you can see that the center of gravity is almost there, but not over the pivot. Therefore, this center of gravity will pull downwards this way, making a clockwise moment. And therefore, this truck will stay on its base. So if this line is within the base of the object, the object will not fall. Lastly, this one is quite clearly a bit more stable than the others. Okay, because the center of gravity is to the right and therefore it's quite cleanly within the base. Therefore, this truck will not fall either. The way to make the body more stable is to lower the center of gravity. For example, maybe if you add a heavy base to the object. If you add a heavy base to the object, the center of gravity will towards the place that is heavier. A heavy base lowers the center of gravity such that the box does not tip over so easily. You can see, right, that at first, when, if a normal box, the CG will be in the middle Therefore, um, the box is very close to tipping over. However, maybe a base, the center of gravity moves over here and therefore um, the arrow is more towards the base side, therefore providing a larger stability with the same amount of tilt. The next way is to increase the area of the base. Just making the object have a larger base would actually increase its stability. For example, like this, the same box, if you increase the base area, you will see that the center of gravity shifts slightly more inside and over the base. Therefore, the object will require more of a tilt to center of gravity past the base. So, why these two methods? They ensure that the vertical line through the center of gravity will easily fall within the base, unless it's tilted by a very large angle. What's at the point of tipping over, but a heavy base will lower center of gravity pushing the CG over here and a broader base would make the box more difficult to tip over because it also moves the center of gravity over here. Last question. Okay, this is a car that I used to own on the right and this is a sports car. So, which one is more stable? The answer should be clear. However, the way you explain this answer is the key. Okay, so you have to talk about the two, the two methods of increasing stability which is to lower the center of gravity and using the base area. So. The center of gravity is located over here. Now, which one is lower? 
which CG is lower. So here over here you can see a longer arrow and here is a shorter arrow. Therefore, the center of gravity for this one is higher and this one is lower. Now next, which base is wider? Quite clearly this is a really long beautiful car and my car is a little bit more practical economical so it's a little bit shorter. It's easier to get into parking spaces I guess. But in terms of stability, this one will have a larger base and this one would have a shorter base. And therefore, this one will be the one that is more stable.